So what is skilled performers? And I guess if we were representing it visually, we might be talking about this, or this, or even this, or this, or even this one. Okay, this is what we mean by skilled performers. In an aesthetic sense, we can represent it this way. Here's some high-level performers. They're all skilled. It's easy enough to say. But can we describe this concept with accuracy, interesting word, and detail? Let's have a go at it. So all of these performance, we assume, follow a model of technique. Burn this word into your mind and use it, please. Technique. We are talking about the actions these performers take being, in inverted commas, correct. It is the correct skill. We could refer to it as the technical model. Okay, so if we have a look at our jockey, and I just realized I had a bit of a rhyme here, jockey next to hockey, <laughs> the little things. Uh, but this jockey, you know, if we, if we look at this kind of angle he's got, I think it's a he, it could be a she, I'm not sure. But we're, I'm assuming that that is some kind of correct technique. I don't know a lot about jockeying and horse riding. Question sport, if I'm honest, is not my strength. But I would imagine that this shape follows a specific technical model. And okay, this is a 2D still shot, and there'll be sort of change in this motion. But that, to me, looks correct. And I'm sure to the trained eye, someone say, yeah, actually, that is the reasons are for the following. And therefore, the technique is used. Now, what about the next one? We are talking about a characteristic being that the skill is consistent or it shows consistency. Now think in your mind what you understand by that word. And I'm going to throw something at you. I think that makes the skill predictable. Take our gymnast person here. Okay, on these parallel bars, as he sort of swings round here, the outcome by definition has to be predictable because if it isn't, if it's occasional, accidental, prone to error, he's going to end up on his face. Okay, so consistent action. Again, the netball shooter goal attack here, we could describe this as the, the action she's going to take is going to be consistent and the outcome is going to be predictable. She's going to score most of the time. There are errors and even top level performers will miss. Of course, they were, of course, they will slalom performers will will miss a gate will crash out they'll do all those things naturally well naturally you know what I mean so we've got our consistency as one of our key terms L very much linked to that is the notion that they are accurate okay whether it's foot placement you know we see here with our hockey player um, whether it is uh, the positioning of the skis around the pole this these performers are accurate they place things and it could be, it doesn't have to be a hand, a foot, it could be their centre of mass, for example. It's an accurate performance. Next point, we're getting there already. Performances are efficient. They show efficiency. And when we talk about efficiency, I really, again, want you to burn this into your mind. By the way, I really wish I'd listened to my teachers school when they told me to write more neatly when I came to do this job. When it's efficient, the performer has no waste of time or energy no waste of time or energy or both. Oh dear, all those times I was in the classroom and I dreamt, out, daydreamt looking out of the window and really I could have been focusing on the neatness of my handwriting. Wouldn't that have made my childhood better? Well, it done about that, but it would have made my videos better. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe I'm not showing skilled performance right now. Skilled performances need to be effective. So the principle we have here is of effectiveness. Again, think about this. It's not efficiency, no waste of time or energy. It's about effectiveness. It almost links this predictability point. The skill must work. Okay. Now, that's actually an interesting point when we come back to the correct technical model because there are performers who will not have the correct technical model, but it will work for them. And that's where that effectiveness maybe overtakes technique. It has to be a blend, of course. And this is a really interesting piece of language for you to consider using. We'd say that the outcome is predetermined, or we could say here predetermined outcomes. What's going to happen in the performance is predetermined. That ball is going to rise and fall, presumably, into a net. Okay, We think that's probably what's going to happen. This performer is going to slalom around this gate, and then they're going to move on to the next one. This guy here, he's going to produce some kind of crazy gymnastics move and land perfectly in the handstand position or whatever it happens to be. It's effective. Three more points. We'll get through them quickly. The performance must show confidence. I mean, it's self-explanatory. I'm not going to go over that any further. I'm sure you understand that. Two further. Penultimately, I want you to be aware that performances that are highly skilled will show control. I mean, I think that it relates to our consistency. It relates to our technique. It relates to our efficiency. Fine. But this one's one that might be less obvious to you. 
the performance must be aesthetic. Okay, what does that word mean in your mind, aesthetic? And I'm going to give you a couple of meanings. It could mean beauty. Okay, so the performance looks good. I mean, kind of what I sketched over a jockey, I think, sort of starts to represent that sort of notion. We can see from the netball player, maybe the defender here, that, you know, there's a kind of, there's a certain kind of prowess and beauty to the performance, again, with the skier, here again, with the gymnast, with this perfect straight line look. We've got kind of beauty there. And the other point I would make about aesthetics is that it comes back to this notion of correct. We recognize it as beautiful because of what? Because it's the technical model and it's correct. And we recognize kind of the beauty of that. Those are the characteristics of skilled performance.